<laughs> How do you really identify someone who's teaching good self-defense? Because it's not always in the moves. So keep watching. Today we're getting three private lessons from three different self-defense instructors okay, cool. to figure out who's who. Hello. Hi guys. Hello, hello. Cool, well, she's coming in. She looks the part straight away. She's engaging with everybody. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. If you actually find yourself in a physical threat, we're gonna be learning some techniques that can help you. Um, have your feet about hip width apart. You can take a natural step forward. We're gonna use um, the heel of our palm for what we call a palm strike. Oh my God. So all I'm gonna do to generate power, we're gonna sink into the ground a little bit and we're gonna send our hands Ooh. out. Yeah. Ooh, Good hip drive in there. So she's looking the part here. Out, contract. <laughs> Introducing the idea of striking from close to medium range shows some experience because most confrontations start in a close range. People are often in your face. I like the fact that she's actually talking about open hand strikes because in reality, in the street, you've got to have that in your arsenal. You have to have the ability to use open hand strikes as well as close fist strikes because you need to be able to protect your hands. And certainly this idea of palming people away at close range isn't a bad idea, especially if they're in your personal space. So this is a good thing to teach. In law enforcement, they use the A-frame kick. We call it the groin kick. So all you're gonna- The groin kick. You're gonna be up a little- No! And then unfold the Everybody leg, always relies on the groin down. kick for self-defense. So look, I'm, I'm Why? I can't necessarily use my hands gotcha. now. <laughs> Kicking the groin is not as easy as you think in a confrontation. A choke? A choke. It's a very primal okay. instinct. You generally you do choke people from the front. Step back, arm up, good, and turn. Now, here's the thing. When people choke you, they tend to press you up against the wall when they choke you. Good, oh. turn, turn, oh, wait, turn, 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 turn. Turn, you, got, you don't get a second True. chance in the True. fight. You don't get a second oh, chance. Oh, she's legit. So hopefully I think she definitely knows what she's doing. What's up, what's up, guys? Oh, hey, how are you? Good. Five, ste five action steps, right? So it is avoid. Okay, dodge, so, yeah, good advice. Escape, Avoid, dodge, escape. escape. Uh, that's more or less the same stuff, but yeah, yeah, it's cool. But if someone says all of this, it doesn't necessarily mean that they know what they're talking about. You can read that on Google. You can just punch him. Punch me. You are so jacked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's, let's, hypothetically, hypothetically. Come yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Give him that money. And then you just go like that, okay? Right? It's the first movement. Step back. You're telling the people to move backwards, which keeps you in the line of fire. Okay, like that's fine. Yes. Okay. Then the second thing is you're telling them to just put your hands up and hopefully they're going to punch, literally, bang, punch the bone in your arms. Not forgetting the fact that actually they can just punch around it anyway. And most yeah, people swing man's. punches. They don't actually punch straight. Ooh. So putting your hands up like that actually yeah. means that you're going to get hit in the face. Okay, it's not going to work. Oh, so okay. that's not legit advice. When you actually defend punches, you actually try to make sure that you're covering, tucking your chin down, and making sure that you're taking away the space here and defending your head. It's really important that you do that, but what you don't want to do is, is stand in front of someone or move back in a straight line when someone's throwing punches. You have to move off to the side and certainly get your hands up. Yeah, that's spot on, but let's be honest, any idiot can come up with that advice. You just have to Google that. It doesn't make them an expert, probably makes them a fraud. The telltale here that this so guy doesn't know what he's talking about is the way that he's holding his hands. There's no conditioning in his wrist. It's a little bit weak and a little bit floppy. When someone does something by repetition, you can see it in their movement. Oh shoot! And this guy lacks that, really. It's like kind of like ballet. Yeah, it is like ballet, just really. Like this. I mean, <laughs> going to just oh, like this. what the hell so was that? Just... Bye. Dance. Like, uh, how... That's good. Now, I've got to be honest, if you were paying for this, I'd ask for my money back. That's good. Yeah, you can punch me. <laughs> With interest. Hey. Oh, hello. What's up, guys? Hello. How's it going? How you guys doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Toki. Okay. <laughs> Sweet P. My name is Tavares. Sweet P. Wings. So we'll be teaching you guys some simple but effective Sweet P's a fighter's name, right? From Hype Keto. Uh, He's the man. Well CBT. Are you guys familiar with CBT? CBT. CBT. <laughs> <laughs> no. This guy's crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It stands for Commando Battle Tactics, oh. and it also incorporates pistol disarms as well as knife disarms. Whoa. Wow. Yay. So you we're going Del Brown now. You grab his right hand with your left. You bring it around. 
two thumbs on the back of his hand. Oh, bring down, go backwards. <laughs> okay. Backwards. Yeah. To your now this is a problem with self-defense advice. Right, I mean, yes. you got to put Pivot this in the reality around. that someone's going to punch hands. you in the back of the head. Put it on the back of his And then it's just going to yank you to the ground. Right here. Okay. Push down. Imagine, high stress situation. You're going to remember that? I don't think so. Try to throw a right uh, kick at Right kick? Yeah. So what I do is step forward, yikes, yikes, I yikes, yikes. catch it. Uh -huh. Step forward, my left catch with both hands. Catching the kick. Step around. Oh God. So most people do not kick like this in the street, by the way. It, you don't get highly polished martial art kicks. You know, if someone's throwing a highly polished roundhouse kick, it's usually going to be set up. They're going to come in with punches, combinations, and strikes. Point it at my... Chest a banana. <laughs> Let's go with a banana. I'm really going to intimidate you. That. We're going to go. We're going to go full self defense on this. Banana. This way. You can turn his hand downwards. Oh, you just been. Oh, dude, come on! You just been shot in the face there. First of all, there's the distance. You're not going to cross that distance. There's no way you can reach for that weapon before he pulls the trigger. Give me all your money. This is definitely not an expert. Block, block, grab. Block on the inside. Okay, so you can see this guy's not an expert. Purely by the lack of intention behind his strikes. He's not forming a fist properly. I'm not really sure. There's no Woo! fluidity in the we movement. He hasn't here. rehearsed it enough for it to be a natural movement. This, if someone was teaching me, I would definitely Whoa! ask for my money back. <laughs> he falls well, though. It, it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jack. Oh, <laughs> like, okay. All right, I sorry. mean, come on. Yeah. Okay, can I be honest? I was so nervous to call you a frog. <laughs> I just learned those things yesterday. Oh, yeah. really? oh my. So what's the takeaway? Well, it's not as easy as you think to spot a fraud, but the experts do shine. Thanks for watching.